I'm pretty confident I secured the next best thing to an off-white pair of sneakers. I really, really want it. I really don't want to pay that price for them though. And I was able to buy a sneaker in a way I normally would not have and via text message, like literally via text message. I have zero regrets. TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two shoes chains I hope you guys are having an amazing day when you're seeing this I think it's possibly a Tuesday when you're viewing this so happy Tuesday if that's the case I hope you are having a good one hope you had a great start to your week as well hope Mother's Day was good um, always always got to show love and appreciation for mom I don't care no matter what so this sneaker pickup. So some people first off, <laughs> somebody asked me, is there ever a time where you didn't do the right thing? And they were referring to the fact that um, my student loans, because they're federal, are in forbearance, but I am still choosing to pay on them so that that principal, 100% of the payment applies to principal. There's no interest that's accruing right now, which means I'll be able to pay a few student loans off instead of picking up an off, um, off-white Nike Presto or the Jordan 1 Union that I really, really want. So they said, hey, do you ever not do the right thing? Um, I don't always know that there's a right or a wrong because it is subjective, right? Just because something may not be the action I will take doesn't mean, or I would, I'm trying to combine two words, would and will, I would take. It doesn't mean that it's wrong if somebody else chooses to do the total opposite. I think we just always have to keep that in mind. We have to respect whatever someone does. It probably works for them. For me, I guess this is considered like, hey, I didn't do what I, sh I could have done. Let's just say that there are always opportunity costs for everything. So first off, when you have friends that are poor influences, remember I've, I've spoken on this before, poor influences, CL now 23, poor influence, but this really, really worked out. So I guess I can't give him too much crap about it. Um, am I gonna be on track for 12 pairs this year? I don't know now after this, I honestly don't know. So he sent me a post and he said, hey, this sneaker is you. This sneaker is you. You want line, the sneaker is me. And that is the Nike Blazer Mid 77. And this is actually in um, the official term is uh, it's total orange. Now you can see by that swoosh, it is certainly orange. It has that off white kind of beige uh, upper leather. It has this rough suede that's on the back. I absolutely love it. It has the exposed foam tongue on the actual tongue itself. There is no color. It's just white with, it's pretty much just like a white on off white tongue. And then again, it has the exposed foam itself. Now, in terms of me saying, hey, I went to Jersey and picked up a sneaker. No, I did not physically go to New Jersey, but I was able to shop, frequent, provide my business to a sneaker store. So that would actually be Sneaker Hub. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard about them or if you follow them on Instagram, it was my first time officially shopping with them 
but I'd seen a few of their posts, I think on my Explore feed, and now it sent me some posts before, but I never actually made the decision to buy from them. And if you look at the post, I'll make sure to put it up there, put it up here so you guys can see if you look at the post it says hey um you need to text us or call it's like by phone order only and i'm like what <laughs> so i saw this shoe so why did i buy this okay let's go into the story um buying this because no it wasn't something that i originally planned to buy but i actually sold ooh, two pairs of shoes that i just didn't intend on uh i, I never wore them so i ended up selling them and that actually provided money towards this. So it kind of knocked down what the actual cost is. So retail is $100 on these. Um, I paid $20 for shipping. And so it was 120 total for me to pick up this pair. But because I essentially made, uh, I think $62 profit in terms of selling um, the shoes that I did sell, hey, that took down what this was out of pocket. So to have paid what a little over $40 for a brand new in the box Nike mid blazer, I'm okay with that. Now, this is not my first time, of course, owning a blazer. I've owned blazers before. I, I'm trying to think back to the exact color that I had, and I think I had a white and like lighter blue pair back in the day. And it's funny because uh, I don't know if you guys follow, uh, subscribe to Soul Focus, but Corey loves blazers. He went over them, and he actually felt that the blazer was better than any <laughs> off white. That video got a lot of traction. Now, he got some love and he got some hate, but again, it's his opinion based on what he likes and so i showed this to him i said hey i got a blazer on the way and he joked he said uh good luck trying to get it on the very first time i was smart this is not my first go around with the blazer i was smart i loosened this sucker all the way up before i decided to try it on and that's exactly what i did so you guys are going to see an on foot of this now the way i chose to style it um one i did go with more of an analogous if you let's break that down analogous actual uh I'm not really color blocking, but choosing to pair or how I coordinated this. So analogous just means these colors are actually close to each other. They're like right next to each other on the color wheel. And I'm not gonna take credit for that. I will go ahead and give credit to uh, Fly With Johnny Ty because we, we may all, pair our, our clothes and our shoes a certain way, but we may not know the actual color theory behind why it seems to go together. And so having this um, but this light bone that's well that's technically the term on the box so having the light bone and then the orange and then even more of this burnt orange on the back you wouldn't think that hey let's just pair it with more of something that has a reddish tone to it but that's what i did with the super distressed american eagle um airy sweater that i have and yes i get flamed all the time it's funny my dad will go you really paid money like you paid genuine currency for something that has holes in it Yes, I did. Sorry, like new age, millennial. I don't know what to tell you. Yes, I played. I paid genuine currency for something that has holes in it. Now it was on sale. I don't know if that makes it any better for him. I don't think it does, but I decided to uh, go with the analogous route. So they complement each other. And then you have that bright pop of denim in there to really set everything off. Uh, the second outfit that I went with, Total Comfort, we're talking you want me to go somewhere? I'm in a hoodie. I'm in some sweats. Now the sweats that you see, I just picked these up from Dick's Sporting Goods. They are the Nike Essential um, sweatpants. I actually went with the women's large because I just really wanted a, a baggier pair of sweatpants with the small and with the medium all sold out as well. Nike has these on their website, but it was an XL. And I'm like, that's a little too big for me. I am small. Okay. My waist is actually like a 25 and a half, 26. So having a women's large is essentially like having a men's medium so they're quite big on me but thank goodness for the draw cord and they fit in the waist now they're super baggy and comfortable and relaxed through the legs and i love it and i paired it with the nike just do it all over micro branding hoodie so i don't know if you guys have seen this i think before because i felt like it was one of the best hoodies of 2018 that i picked up and i still feel that way so there's the hoodie right there pair that with the sweats you got the classic crew socks on and you just keep it pushing so you guys get to see an on foot of both ways I styled this something that you can just go out you can go out with friends listen I'm kind of like Jerry Lorenzo sometimes if you're telling me that sweatpants and a hoodie or something is not allowed I don't know if I want to go I may not be in the mood to put on anything else and I might not show up and I'm perfectly fine with that listen just because the world is going to open back up doesn't mean I will be the one uh still trying to attend everything but this is so close to the off-white hollows eve so that's why that's the true reason why I picked this up I wanted that shoe 
so bad. I thought, okay, this is it. This is the one. I'm going to get this shoe. Had not a chance in hell of getting the shoe. And I'm still salty about it because I loved the over, I, I love the overextended, the very obnoxious swoosh that was on the side. Now we know on the medial side, it usually has the off white paragraph text that is there. Listen, I don't have that on these, but you can't tell me I didn't get insanely close. I got the next best thing to the off white Hallow's Eve. Now listen, Virgil, why? Like, just why are you doing this to me? Like, why did you do that? Well, I'm not gonna say it was his fault. I'm gonna blame Sneakers app. That just seems like a great person to place the account, the, the blame on. I'm gonna blame Sneakers app. So I didn't get it. I do plan to go back for the Grim Reaper because it's cheaper on the secondary market than Hollow's Eve. It just is. The Hollow's Eve one, I knew that it was the one that everybody wanted. The black and white, not so much. People didn't think it would probably turn heads as much. But I feel as if I got the next best thing and I didn't have to pay that crazy price. So yes, you can go on Nike.com right now, ladies, and buy this because it is a women's shoe for $100. You're only gonna pay tax. So for me, it would have been 107. But for me to support a uh, another a smaller sneaker business in themselves that's privately owned and pay the extra $13, very, very happy with that. No regrets. Easy process. I sent them um, the text of the information. They sent me the way in which to pay. I think I paid via Cash App. They sent me the tracking, sent me a receipt, and bam, there was no fuss at all about it. So great shopping experience. I will probably shop with them again. So you can make sure that you follow them on Sneaker Hub or at Sneaker Hub. I'll make sure to link them in the description box and then make sure I show them here on the screen. But thank you for tuning in. So yeah, I decided since I had uh, money set aside from selling a few shoes to pick up a new pair. And I'm glad that I went with the eight. Like I could have gone with the women's seven and a half, but listen, they're, they're narrow. They are a narrow shoe. So I'm glad I went with an eight. So I actually have room when I want to wear bigger socks and I don't have to, or thicker socks, I don't have to worry about any problems with my feet. But great sneaker pickup for myself. Love it. These are going straight to feet. And you guys can make sure to follow me at talks.with.tj on Instagram. I will have plenty of pictures posted of the outfits and of uh, on foot looks for the shoes. So as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.